The road to graduation is not traveled alone. There are many individuals in the student's life who helped pave the way to this important milestone today, many of whom are tied so closely to LSU, many of whom are a part of the students' lives inside and outside the university gates. First, I would like to recognize the parents, grandparents, spouses, and children and other, children and other honored guests that are here to celebrate this wonderful achievement. We applaud not only your loved one's successes, but also your tireless effort and support along the way to this important milestone. Today's commencement marks one step in completing the journey of a lifetime, but also in the beginning of a new adventure for you and your graduates. Please stand if you are a parent, grandparent, friend, spouse, family member to be recognized by our audience today. <laughs> Thank you. Our faculty represent another critical guide guidepost along the road to graduation. University faculty aren't just exceptional scholars, scientists, and researchers. They're also skilled educators committed to providing an excellent foundation to every student who crosses their path. I ask at this point that our faculty please stand to be recognized by our audience and our graduates. Faculty, please stand. Thank you. The summer class of 2014 today has 657 graduates, 359 baccalaureate degrees, bachelor's degrees, and 298 graduate degrees. 328 of the graduates today are men, 239 are women. We represent 41 parishes from the state of Louisiana. 34 states are represented today and 28 countries are represented today, ranging from Afghanistan to Vietnam. Our undergraduates range in age from 20 to 40. This is truly an impressive class and adds to the most successful class of graduates that we have had at LSU in our entire history. This year marks the largest graduating class of women in the history of LSU. This year also marks the largest graduating class of African Americans and Latinos in the history of LSU. Now, if I could briefly address the graduates today. On this special day, it is an honor for me to stand before you to officially recognize this significant milestone. Ceremonies like these, which began over 600 years ago, were created to signify to society that you have mastered an academic field of study. Today, we celebrate your academic mastery and we present your accomplishments to the community, the state of Louisiana, and this great nation because of the impact that you had on your achievements as a graduate of LSU. Now, this day certainly doesn't belong to those sitting in before us today. As we mentioned, the family members it belongs to. It belongs to the citizens of Louisiana, our outstanding faculty and staff throughout our campus, our over 250,000 alum alumni and friends who have supported you each and every step of the way, who believe in your capacity to make society a much better and more vibrant place an intellectually stimulating and sustainable place for all. I'd like to take a moment to look around you as well, to look at your fellow classmates and to keep, a, keep in mind as of today, as of today, you're among this nation's top 32nd percentile in educational achievement and success in the United States. Even more importantly, as of today, you are among the world's top 7th percentile in educational attainment and success. In other words, the attainment of a college degree places you in an enviable place, both right here in the United States, but also around the world. For our graduate students, the figures are even more impressive because you are among truly the world's elite in educational success. For this reason, I share these facts with you are twofold. First, to remind you of what a significant accomplishment you have actually achieved, and for your family members to understand that this truly is a significant accomplishment. Second and more importantly, however, it is to remind you of your responsibility and obligation to those in need of similar educational opportunities that
that will undoubtedly enable them to maximize their potential both as individuals but also as global citizens. As one of the world's most educated citizens with the great potential to help others, you are now being handed the mantle, enabling you to provide widespread hope and widespread global opportunity. Through your individual and collective intellectual ability, you are needed to help free others from the bonds of human ignorance and prejudice. You are needed to make the right social choices that expand the prosperity of others while reducing the inequality that exists within our world. You are needed to provide the future ideas that will help feed and shelter an expanding world population. And you are needed to ensure that the next generation of children and students have more educational opportunity and economic opportunity than those of the previous generations who have enjoyed them, no matter whether you live in Louisiana, Los Angeles, London, or Laos. In short, you are needed to make the world a better place. You have the tools, you have the skills, and you have the talent. And the benefits that will reap from your impact will not only benefit your local communities, but your state, national, and for many of you, the international communities around the globe. Every one of us today that are sitting here today have great faith in you, and we know that you will accomplish for so many in need through your influence. The LSU family wishes you the best of luck in these endeavors and will take great pride in everything you accomplish throughout your lifetime. And remember that you are never alone in your path toward global success and greater economic impact for those that extend well beyond the borders of our neighborhoods, our state, and our nation. Your alma mater forever stands strong with you and your alma mater forever stands strong with you.